Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to connect MS SQL inside the Visual Studio Code. Let's begin. First of all, you must have SQL Server up and running to connect MS SQL inside Visual Studio Code. After that, we will run some query and we will fetch the data. Go to this extension and just type here in the search box MS SQL because we are going to install the MS SQL uh, extension. So the first one, SQL Server from Microsoft.com. So when you see this, you will have this uh, blue color install button. So we need to simply click on it to install this extension. We have the features, uh, contribution, change log, dependencies, and a lot more information. If you want to read it, so you can go through it here. So the installation uh, extension is installed successfully. You have this message. Okay, now go back and uh, click here on the Explorer. Now the next thing we have to do, we have to change the uh, language. Go to the file menu, click on the new text file. When the text file is open, you will have these options. Click on this, select a language. When you click on the language, this will ask you what kind of language you want to proceed with. So we have, are looking for the SQL. So just type here SQL and you will have just selected. So this will connect whatever is required to write the SQL. So you will have IntelliSense and uh, support from that, from that extension we have just installed. On the bottom you can see that in installing the SQL tools services something because this is setting up the Visual Studio code for our requirement to connect the SQL. Okay, now click here on the left hand side you will have the add connection. Also you can get the same option from the command palette. When you go to the command palette if you are doing first time, you will not get this option. If you are doing second time, you will get the option. This will associate this, this activity. And go again to the command palette. You will connect to the add connection or from the left hand side or you can go this way as well. So both are same. So when you have this box, you have to give some information here. Let me show you what information we need. First, you have to open the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so relaunch the SQL Server Management Studio because we need the connection information. Okay, this way. Okay, you will have this connect to server window. What we need, we need the server name. So we have the server name and we are using the authentication which is Windows authentication. So the same authentic authentication we will use inside the Visual Studio code. So what information first we need just copy the server name from this place and go back to the Visual Studio code and at this box paste it press enter and then this will ask you the particular database name you want to connect with but we don't have the uh, any particular database so do not give anything press enter. Then this will ask you the authentication type SQL login or integrated. The SQL login is like the SQL authentication and the integrated means the Windows authentication. Because you have seen we are going to proceed with the Windows authentication. That means we have to select the integrated here at this place. Click on this. And if you have set up the management studio server authentication and you must have the login id and password so just copy these login id and password go back here and select the sql login and then user id first then give the password i hope this is clear now we are on the windows authentication side so we will do the same thing in the visual studio code as well okay now here i will select the integrated Great. 
Now, this is asking me to give a name to our connection profile. If you have a different different databases connection, so in that case, you can give a useful name that reflect the purpose of the connection. So I'm giving like this dev connection server one. Once you do that, you will have uh, this uh, message on the right hand side. You have to click on the enable trust certificate. Once you do it, you will see the profile is created and connected message. After that, you will see on the left hand side, the connections tab appeared and you have that connection. And when you expand this tree, you will see the databases. Uh, and when you expand this database, you will have the system database inside the system database. You will have the all available databases, which are by default available. Now, we are successfully connected to the MS SQL Server. Now I will show you how to run the query. So suppose you want to run the, some query on this master database. Do the right click, select new query and you will see this untitled notepad. Okay, simply type the query like select star from DBO and you will have the IntelliSense help. The auto suggestions will help you to write the query. So we are uh, going to fetch the data from the first table. Here we go and go here, click this button or simply press Control Shift E to run this query. When you execute, you will see the results on the right hand side. This is quite useful. We can arrange this view. Right now we are able to see on the right hand side, we have the option to shift this results on the bottom. Okay, when you click on this icon, you have the option to export the table data as a CSV file. So give us file name and simply save this table data as a CSV file. Great. Now we have the second option. If you need this data as a JSON format, we have simply direct option. Just click on it and save this data as a JSON file. The third option is also important. You can save this data, table data as an Excel format. Great. So we have all things in one places. It's amazing. So guys, I will suggest you start using the Visual Studio Code to connect your MS SQL database. There are lots of things you can do here in single place inside the Visual Studio Code. If you want to disconnect, you can simply do the right click and disconnect the database. Also, you will get the query histories. The queries you have executed previously all will appear here and you can see anytime. Also, this will show you the timestamp when you have executed these queries. It's amazing. I have found this Visual Studio Code very useful to connect the MS SQL database or any other databases. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button to appreciate. And you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.